Now welcome to another news from Naboo with Thor's Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news or the rumors today. Yes, today we have a very interesting rumor that really could impact the future of Disney Plus Star Wars going forward. One I'm skeptical of. I'll say that going in. From the little I've heard, you've been gathering as you do all <laughs> morning. Do. So. so rumor has it, the Ahsoka series will introduce a new galaxy to canon that will lay the foundation for a crossover event on Disney+. Plus. The crossover event we've been promised. Supposedly, the breadcrumbs have been laid throughout the Mandalorian, going into the Ahsoka series, and now possibly going forward. I don't think I've seen a single breadcrumb that leads to another galaxy well, in the Mandalorian. Well, you'll see the breadcrumb in Ahsoka. Oh, you'll, I will you'll, see. You'll, you'll, it'll point out, yeah. I get you. I get it. I will look back and I will see the breadcrumbs that I missed. Well, you already know that Ahsoka's hunting for Thrawn, and yeah. she can't find him. Thrawn doesn't come from another galaxy, for starters, but yes. He doesn't come from one, but he happens to be in one. That's where the Purgle dropped okay. him off. Okay, well the Purgle can really haul ass. So they can go wherever they want. I Apparently, because All another galaxy, galaxy is... I mean, we, we do that in Legends, the Yuuzhan Vong. I didn't... We'll get to it. We'll, we'll let you do this first. We'll let you get the news out there first. Alright, according to the Besman Bullet, Ahsoka is going to add a new unexplored galaxy to the canon it's it's right now it's being referred to as the new beyond or new space it's unclear if that's like an official name or a nickname used by the people who are working on the show the report is also claiming the force will be viewed differently in this new galaxy and that certain magic users that have already been introduced may actually have originated there the mortis gods the night sisters they're not magic users they per se. They use a force magic. Use, yeah, but they use the force. They're but, not. They're not denying that they're using the force. They might. They might view it differently. They might use it differently. But I don't think the Night Sisters would have originated there. That doesn't. Doesn't check have. out with me. They could have. Eh, and then I'm they gonna, they moved to this planet. Why do you think there's no one else quite like them? We haven't seen really magic-y type force users. Well, you're already leading to my problem with the idea. We have an entire galaxy to explore. Yes, Many this is people... part of the galaxy that is unexplored. It's a no, 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 no. You're getting universe and galaxy mixed up here. We have the Star Wars galaxy made up of billions of planets. I'm assuming like any other, like our own Milky Way galaxy, billions upon billions of, of planets, or I should say stars with who knows how many planets around them. I don't know that we need to go to another galaxy when we could explore different cultures in this one who would view the Force differently. No, we're going we're going further away from everything we know so we can write something good, new. I mean, not to we mention... We wanted original, and this would be original. A good chunk of the Star Wars galaxy is unknown that we see a little bit in, say, the you know the Thrawn trilogies, uh, the newer you know books. We are, uh, you know, the unexplored regions, wild space, plenty of places we can go. A lot of this information is actually coming from a person who has visited the set of Skeleton Crew and said the show... And Ahsoka, because Ahsoka is actually filming in the same location, pretty much. Crossover. Seem to be talking to one another. As both shows have been filming the same time, and even seen filming in the same spaces. Yeah, crossover, clearly. I, I thought they would both just go to, like, Wild Space or the Unknown Regions or... Well, it is an Unknown Region. But they just, we just don't know what they call the official thing. This is just what he's I'm calling saying it. there's it an unknown regions space. in the Star Wars galaxy. We don't need to go to another galaxy. I, I find this very confusing. Not saying the idea is horrible. Again, Yuuzhan Vong. I, I like the Yuuzhan Vong. I thought it was a fun story. I thought they needed to do something different. I don't know that the official new canon needs to really leave the galaxy yet. But, but we might. <sighs> I don't know. I'm very skeptical. You can make your own rules in a new galaxy. You don't have to follow George Lucas's Star Wars rules anymore because you get to make your own rules. So that might be part of why they are doing it. But why would you pay $4 billion to do something different from what Lucas did instead of trying to expand on what Lucas did? That is the... I mean, I'm not saying they're not going to. I'm not saying it's the dumbest idea ever, mm -hmm. but it is the dumbest idea ever. Well, there are now, then, of course, high possibilities of cameos between the two shows. The rumor is also that Ahsoka will introduce concepts that Skeleton Crew will explore... The issues from Skeleton Crew are likely to impact Season 4 of The Mandalorian. So we're getting some crossovers. Some so they're finally starting this? Uh, I, w I think the Rangers of the New Republic being canned, really, their original crossover event, I'm going to guess, had no... And again, these are all even rumors. We have no idea if any of this no. is true, right? I'm, I'm assuming that the Rangers of the New Republic being canceled threw a big wrench in the plans of the crossover thing. Because I think it was a, a little more in-universe or in-galaxy scale, not, let's go to another galaxy. Well, part of this is all starting with that character um, that 
Morgan Elspeth played in The Mandalorian, where at episode five, you know, season two, Ahsoka showed up and where's Thrawn? Where is he? Yeah. <laughs> She's supposed to be from this galaxy that Thrawn is in. How were they getting to... I... Pergil, man. You're weaponizing like, We have a Pergil transport system? Well, once you get there and he has been there a long time, it might be feasible that he could find a way out. But it's another galaxy. Are we talking about another plane of existence? Are we talking another dimension? I, That's the problem is we don't know exactly what that I don't piece think another, of information I is. mean, if you want to see it's another dimension, I guess. They've already kind of did that in the comics a little bit. And so maybe I, it's I don't another know. dimension. I, I'm just, my whole point but here. But it does explain why skeleton crew, why this crew of kids plus Jude Law could get lost in the you galaxy. You can get lost in wild space. You get, the Unknown Regions is... is is a totally different idea than Star Wars, where you, you can't just jump from system to system. You have to have these Skywalkers or somebody who can use the Force to navigate through the through the chaos. And there's all these cool ideas they could do with that on screen that they've been doing in the Thrawn books. And apparently, we're just gonna we're just gonna go even further out and ride some Pergil to another galaxy. Yes, <laughs> uh, we're just leaving, going uh, somewhere else, trying something new. Uh, no, who see, knows? I'm I'm okay with the trying something new thing. Uh, my point is, like, you have a very good foundation. George, what George Lucas created is a great foundation. You don't need to, like, go elsewhere and add something new to it as much as you need to kind of maybe reimagine it a little bit in that galaxy. Let's do the story of Star Wars a little differently with, uh, again, we don't have to have Jedi and Sith next time. Let's go a thousand years into the future or a million years into the past in a different part of the galaxy and kind of explore the Force that way. You don't have to, like... We have these magic users who see the Force differently. You do that right in your own galaxy when connected to the Star Wars galaxy. One thing that I'm very interested in is they say the Force will be viewed differently there. But again, I'm saying the Force is viewed differently by people in the own in this galaxy. Right. It's I such mean, a you strange have the thing. Public, you had the uh, path of the open hand. I mean, just look at planet Earth. How many different religions are there? And in theory, you can't... I mean, there's, there's either like one true God or, you know, you can't all have a one true God, right? They're either worshiping the same God in different ways or different, the same deities in different ways or there's a whole lot going on that we don't get, that's right? That's not how the Force works. But that's my point. Like, you would, you would have to... You can't have multiple omnipotent, omniscient, you know, beings running around. I, I, I guess you could, but you're probably all worshiping the same God in a different way. Same with the Force. The Force is going to be the Force no matter how you want to look at it. It doesn't have different rules because I look at it a different way. Right, but... But, like, the Night Sisters use it in an entirely different way. I mean, Palpatine didn't know how they do it. But it's still the Force. It is still the Force, but it's type it, of... My point is, it doesn't matter how you look at it. I can look at the same thing as you and come to a different conclusion. It doesn't change what it actually is. It doesn't change its intrinsic, you know, traits. So why do we go to a different galaxy when we could go to the next planet over? Because that's not as exciting as going somewhere brand new that you've never even heard of. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you I as much as I'm arguing with the idea. It's a place they're referring to as the new beyond or new space. It could literally just be wild space. It could literally just be... It probably is. ...some place that we already know. They might just be calling it something. I, I think this, if this rumor has any truth to it, I, I'm hoping and imagining they just mean wild space or the unknown regions or whatever it might be. I don't think they could possibly mean let's go to another galaxy when we still have half the galaxy we're in unexplored and we have millions of years forward or millions of years backwards to explore. I mean, also in the rumor, one of the actresses on the show... Originally, she was rumored to be playing Hera. Now, this this rumor person is saying that he's positive she's playing he's you know she's playing a night sister, a night sister or some variation of. They also use the term light sister. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have the good witch. Maybe the good witches expelled the bad witches. Okay. I don't know. No, I'm not. Again, I'm not trying to argue with you. I mean, this would have been yeah, a fun, aggressive negotiations because I feel like it kind of became that by. Mainly by me here. Mainly by you. Yeah. I'm just talking about the news and you're like, ah. I know, but I mean, I just think it's, look, you might think this is an awesome idea. I'm not saying the idea is absolutely garbage and terrible. Again, we had Yuzon Vong, we had other galaxies, we've done weird things in Star Wars, right? We've gone other places. I just don't know that you need to do this with the Ahsoka series and to build something like this. I, to me, this would reek of just like wanting to totally move away from the sequel trilogy. Like, we can go to a whole other galaxy and build something to... Because there's the, the all roads lead to the sequels, right? Everything they're doing in The Mandalorian leads to the sequels. A lot of people don't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, how about we go to a different galaxy? All roads lead to the other galaxy. Maybe that's where Yoda's from. <laughs> maybe. Maybe Just, that's where Grogu is from. Maybe he's from a different maybe, galaxy and, and he wrote a pergil here. Maybe that's why he has to go 
to uh, look for him. His home. I mean, I love the idea that Thrawn and Ezra ended up somewhere weird. But you don't have to go, like, Right, somewhere that the Pergil weird. hang out. Like, that's a long trip. Unless these Pergil are going, are, are hauling ass. That's a long trip to another galaxy. They are hauling ass. They're Pergil. That's all they do. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, I guess Pergil can space hyper. Space whales. Yeah. yeah. Space whales. From Rebels, Hyperspace yeah. travel. They were, like, the originators of hyperspace travel. Yeah. Because they just naturally can do it. They can it. naturally, yeah, jump to hyperspace. and like We went this whole time without telling people what a pergol was. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I guess. I mean, a lot of them know what a pergol is. I'm sure you've thrown images of pergil on the screen. Probably Ezra riding a pergil. No, probably Yeehaw. not. You're just giving me a lot of work to try and do later. No, I'm just, you know, mm-hmm. talking a lot about pergil. We better have some pergil pictures. Well, now, at this point, <laughs> but maybe not before this point. All right, well... I think that's going to be all we got for you this time. So it's your turn to take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of these rumors. Do you think there's truth to them? And if you do, do you like the idea? Again, I'm just throwing my opinion out there. I think the Star Wars galaxy is a huge, massive place to explore. And we don't need to necessarily go to the next door neighbor galaxy to bring something in. Again, we've done it before in the expanded universe. It works out there. I'm not saying it can't be done. Anyway, leave your comments below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.